Hi guys, this is uh, Nightmare Maker. Right, today I'm going to um, start by going through my pretty extensive um, horror DVD collection. I've got there's a lot up here, so this is, this is probably going to be in about ten parts or something. If there's any if there's any films that I pull out that you know you want a, a closer look at, um, just just let me know, message me, and I'll um, I'll leave a comment on the on the page. And what we'll do is I'll um, I'll do a special um, one-off sort of thing for, for, for whoever wants me to do anything. Okay, so I've got. We'll start with the A's. I'm a bit of a bit of a geek. They're all in order, but they have to be. Otherwise, I'd never know where anything was up here. Okay, so I've got. I can't really get to the one in the corner. I've got the. Uh, let's get that out. So I've got the Amateurville Collection uh, Confidential. Right, so this is the, the Amateurville Confidential. Um, it's just like uh, what really happened, there's documentaries, History Channel documentaries on there. Uh, okay, so I'll put that one back. Um, Amit, then we've got Amitville Horror. There. Sorry if the quality's pretty poor, so this is filmed on on iPhone, so... Uh, that, okay, so that's Amitville Horror. Then I've got uh, Amitville 2, The Possession. Okay. Then I've got my Amateville 3D, which is really, oh really, that's a really nice, nice one. Collector's edition. It's actually got the 3D version in there of the Anaglyph 3D glasses. Uh, region two. Um, the remake of Amateville Horror of Ryan Reynolds. Uh, then we've got the Alien Quadrilogy. I've also got on Blu-ray. Uh, so there you go. It's the Amityville Quadrilogy. All four movies in there. All opens up in a really nice little set. Uh, okay, then we've got Alien vs Predator. Region 1. Uh, got a nice package, slip case and stuff. Obviously not, not particularly good film, but... Then we've got the limit, my well, limited edition Army of Darkness. Limit, this was limited to 40,000, number 5914. Nice gold box, really like that DVD. Then we've got Aquarium, uh, Redemption label. Okay. Anaconda. See, used to, used to actually quite like that bit of a guilty pleasure that one. Haven't seen it for a while. April Fool's Day, good 80s film. If you haven't seen it, it's worth seeking out. So it's quite a, quite a good film that. Not quite what you expect. Anatomy, and this is a Ger uh, German film. If you've not seen this one, this is a really good film. Well worth watching that is, Anatomy. I've got Anatomy 2. Which I have to say, I haven't seen yet. I don't know, ages. I just haven't got around to watching it. I have a hard act to follow because the first one was good. And we've got Arachnid. Still got the price, £2. Off a market, I think, if I bought that. I think this is a French French release, I think. Um, but yeah, it's not bad, not a bad film. Then we've got one of the Video Nasties. Two disc special edition. Anthropophagus, also known as the Grim Reaper. Joe D'Amato. Good film. Well, a bit slow, but it's... then we got the. This is this is uh, horrible, also known as absurd, which is the follow-up to Anthropophagus, which is why it's not in uh, not in under the H's. Region zero, so region three. So anybody thinking about grabbing that? That'll play no matter where you. Where you live, the Asphyx, um, Anchor Bay release. This is a good film. And we've got a one of films, Aftermath and Genesis. They're two separate sort of short films. Um, the uh, Aftermath, actually, really good. Really good. Uh, the, the makeup effects are unbelievable, and that's pretty grim. Pretty grim viewing. Okay, then we've got Audition, uh, 
Korean film. Not bad, not bad. I was slightly disappointed with it, I have to admit. Then we got Altered. The Doctor of the Blair Witch Project. Uh, Eduardo Sanchez. It's like an alien, alien film. It's not, not bad. Not bad little film, eh? All the Colours of the Dark. Not bad. Pretty good film. Yep. Oh, there we go. Another, another Guilty Pleasure. Alligator. An Alligator 2 The Mutation. 2 D Special Edition Anchor Bay. Good little films. Well, the first one I really like. Okay, then we got Abominable. Nice slipcase there, like a Bigfoot type thing. Lance Henriksen. And yeah, quite like it. Quite like that film. August Underground. A low budget sort of thing. It's got a bit of a bit of a cult following. I didn't really like it much. But. And then we got I've got the Amazing Stories. Um, I think it's like the uh, first season on there. They're, they're alright, they're sort of short, sort of 25 minute, half an hour, sort of jobbies. Nothing particularly great about them. Then we've got another one of the video nasties on something with Video Axe. Uh, yeah, I weren't too keen on that. It's one of the, one of the weak video, weak, weaker video nasties. The Attendant, terrible film. Low budget shit. Uh, Against the Dark, oh Jesus Christ, another terrible film, Steven Seagal, yeah, crap, move out of the way, okay, we've got Enigma, uh, Luce Fulci film, it's alright, it's slow, but Army of the Dead, cool cover, that's about it, I'm afraid, <sighs> terrible, okay, so now we've got Alice, sweet Alice, this is a this is a brilliant film. I had this on VHS, also known as Communion. Um, if you've not seen this, this is a damn good film. I, I should really suggest seeking that one out. Okay, then we've got a mock train, great cover on Dragon Dragon release. Uh, Beyond the Door Three, really low budget, but it's gory, it's a really gory little film. Really, I like that film. Okay, American Gothic, Rod Steiger, Yvonne De Carlo. Pretty good film, worth a watch. Um, banned from television, or the best of banned from television. All sorts of sort of uh, nasty stuff caught on video, suicides and all that sort of thing. Quite entertaining. Uh, the Blob, the remake of The Blob. Picked this up when I was in America one time, as you can see. I cleaned the uh, clean the box up. But, okay, uh, Blood Feast Two. All you can eat. It's all right. Not too bad. Uh, good cover. Shriek show. Hey okay, guys, I'm running up to nine minutes soon, so I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'll do the basket case films, and then I'll. Uh, I'll have to stop and then go for part two. So we've got basket case, something weird video. Great film. Um, yeah, great, great film. Shh, awful effect, but part of the film's charm, I think. And then we've got Basket Case 2, more of the same, I like all the Basket Case films, you know, just Region Zero, that one. Sorry if I'm not making, I'm just whizzing through these, you know, because there's so many to get through in here. I've got Basket Case 3, The Progeny, uh, yeah, another, got a few features on there, the trailers for all the Basket Case films. Okay guys, I'm going to have to leave it there, look out for part 2. And I'll catch you soon.